Hi Leo and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from November 2nd to November 8th, 2020. I hope that you're all doing well. Uh, first and foremost, let's start with the singing bowl. The reason why I use this is to clear my energy and space and I'll do the same thing for you. But uh, I'm also going to invoke Archangel Uriel to do that. <clears throat> then I'm going to invoke Archangel Raphael to help me send healings to anyone that wants one. Um, also, I'm going to invoke Archangel Michael for breakthroughs and abundance coming your way. And last but not least, I will also invoke Archangel Gabriel to raise uh, the frequency uh, of the of uh, the collective. Uh, I will put I will put uh, intentions in it, and you could as well do the same while I'm ringing it. And and of course, Metatron will be here as well. So let's get started. Clear my energy and space, and I'll do the same thing for you with Archangel Uriel. Archangel Raphael to send healing energy for those that do and want to embrace it. Archangel Michael for breakthrough and any way, shape, or form of an abundance that has to come your way. Last but not least, Archangel Gabriel to help me to raise the frequency and vibrations of the collective with peace, love, harmony. Perfect. All righty. So I do have a few announcements before I start my reading. Is that uh, first and foremost, I want to thank everybody here for all your love and support. Uh, for my family and my friends, for people in my community and here on YouTube. Remember, you are my family. You're not just subscribers or viewers. You are my family. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Um, I want to also thank all of you for all the beautiful donations. Like I said in my last videos, I didn't even even think about donations ever it never pro it crossed my mind and uh, so a lot of you have been reaching out and saying that you wanted to donate so the underneath this uh, the video there is a donation button on top of my front page of youtube right hand and in the about section there is it there's a link there and uh, again i want to thank you all for all the love and support for all the beautiful donations for uh, everything and um, just know that my mom will continue to pray for all of you um, so if there's any special requests, just write them down in the comments below and I will relay them to you. She sends you her love. She says, thank you very much for all the beautiful comments. It really overwhelms her a lot. And she cries when she, uh, hears the things that all of you are writing. It's not that she cries, that she cries because it's emotional for her. So again, thank you everybody for being here and let's get started with your reading. So, uh, we're going to go right away with the affirmations, Leo. See what is your affirmation from November 2nd to the 8th, 2020. Leo. Leo on the collective. What's happening with Leo? Okay, well, uh, your affirmation is number three, and it's transformation. Transformation. And your uh, affirmation is, I journey within to meet my higher self and to find true happiness. I journey within to meet my higher self and to find and to find true happiness. So there is some type of transformation that's taking place for, for some of you out there. Transformations are taking place. So now we're going to look into... Um, Gaia Oracle, and that's going to show me where you've been, where you are at now, and what's coming. And normally, let's say if I do your reading or things are not happening in your life, and the, and uh, a lot of you are not seeing further, uh, Gaia is uh, going to confirm to you that this is what's going to be taking place in your life. So 
Um, they're beautiful cards and they're very much very accurate as well. So let's this is for Leo from November 2nd to the 8th. Let's see what are the messages here for Leo. One more card. I usually take out three. One more card for Leo. Okay. I thought that card wanted to come out. Nope. Okay, I guess that's the card. All right. So, Leo, the first card you got is Achievement. Look how beautiful this card is. Achievement. And it says here, keep focused on your dream. Keep focused on your dream. Whatever it is your dream, keep focusing on it. Okay, and you got number 17. Then you got Healing. Healing is taking place for you. Look how beautiful this card is. And it says, reconnecting with your true nature which it, 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 it confirms your affirmation that you got, right? And last but not least, you got Tree of Life, Leo. <laughs> and that talks about fertility, creativity, destiny, and magical ble magical blessings are going to be taking place in your life. Wow, this is amazing. I'd like to see that. Now let's get into your reading. This reading is for Leo's son, but anywhere that you have Leo in your chart, this is your reading. Just remember that this is a general reading. If it resonates, claim it. If it doesn't resonate, look at your rising, uh, which is your ascendant sign. Look at the moon. It's your emotions. Venus is about love. Mercury is about communication. And also look at your north node. And uh, for those of you uh, that are reawakening and wanting to know what your soul purpose okay, or mission is, maybe by looking at the north node, you'll know more about it. And then dig a bit deeper. And let's say if for some of you that have been stagnant in a situation or things are not moving or things are not going in the way that you planned for many, many years, look at it, look, go and look into the karmic, karmic situations for the North Node uh, from past lives till now. It's going to show you karmically what you need to release so you go to the next paradigm. And you could find that on Google. Okay. It's all for free. Okay. So all you have to do is write free birth chart and then. You're going to get your chart. You're going to get a huge explanation. Plus, if you, like I said, if you go deeper, you're going to see. And it does really help, okay? So, um, I'm going to show you now where you're at, what's crossing you, what spirit wants you to know, your recent past, what is crowning you. Uh, I'm also going to show you immediate future, external influences that you cannot see, and the outcome. And then I will clarify the, one, the cards that spirit wants me to clarify for you. Okay, so... Let's get started. And you see Sandy, she's in the background. She's sleeping. Uh, yeah, every time I put her to sleep <laughs> when I do my readings. And you hear her. If you hear her, she's snoring. <laughs> she's such a, an adorable puppy. Okay, I say puppy, but she, you know, she's a small dog. She's my baby. So, um, okay. So your first card you got is the Eight of Pentacles. Followed by the uh, nine, let me see, one, two, six. Yeah, the nine of swords energy. Followed by the ace of wands. So you, I see that there's a lot of worry here or you're not able to sleep. Um, insomnia is affecting you at this time. I'm going to show you the card in a second. In the recent past, you've got the Ten of, uh, the ten of uh, uh, Swords. And what is crowning you at this time? What's crowning Leo at this time? Okay. The Knight of Pentacles. In the immediate future, you got... Ooh, that's okay. You got the four of cups. What's supporting you is the chariot, external influences, the devil card, which is Saturn, Capricorn energy here, Cancer. I have Capricorn and Cancer here. And in 
the hopes and fears. You got the three of pentacles. External influences is... I don't need three cards. I just want one card, please. Okay, they gave me two cards. I got the seven of pentacles with the ten of the ten of cups energy. And underneath the deck is the three of wands. Okay, so uh, let me just look at the cards for a second and connect with them, okay? And then I'm going to start showing them to you. Uh, I'm going to change a... I'm going to change a little bit of how I used to do the readings, but it's still going to be the same. So don't worry about it. You're still going to see the cards, but I just want to connect with them first. Okay. So right away, first thing that I see here with Spirit is telling me, some of you are, are whatever that you've been putting energy in, if it's like work or a person or situation, I see that you're working in details and you're putting a lot of energy, but at the same time, you're also very worried at this time, maybe money wise for some of you, or just whatever it is that this project, and it's very passionate for you. Okay. And there's many more than one project or one more than one thing that you're putting energy to in the recent past, you did have an ending of a cycle and an ending of a cycle that was very, very difficult, but the 10 becomes a one. Okay. Uh, I do see someone coming towards you. This could be for work. Okay, maybe a, a, um, an offer for work is coming for you or, or this person is bearing uh, is bearing uh, gifts or there is someone coming towards you. They're very slow people, but they're coming. There is an offer here. And I see that you're going to be uh, uh, taking control of a situation and moving forward very quickly with it. Okay, uh, with a lot of willpower. Um, some of you, you may be dealing with a Capricorn, but this is also Saturn in Capricorn. That's it could also be something karmic in your life that is ending for some of you, not all of you. It doesn't have to be an ending, but it's quite almost an ending. And in the hopes and fears, you got the three of pentacles reversed here, okay? Which shows me there was something that was very steady at one point uh, or that there was a strong foundation. I feel some of you have to redo the work again. It doesn't have to be a job. It could also be whatever energy you're putting on. You, you have to redo it, okay? Because some of you have went off course. So... You got the eight of pentacles. This is where you're at, okay? Putting a lot of energy in, a, in something that you're trying to achieve. What's crossing you is the nine of swords energy. Insomnia, worried about a situation. What Spirit wants you to focus on is this ace of wands, which talks about, this is about maybe for some of you have been working on yourself, so loving yourself. This could be in, in every area of life, there's some type of passion that got ignited. In the recent past, you got the ten of swords energy. An ending of a cycle. What's coming toward? No, what is crowning you is this Knight of Pentacles. Someone's coming towards you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, very slowly. Okay, in the immediate future, there will be an offer for you. But this, the offer that's coming in might not be solid, as how it was before. If this is something about beforehand, okay, there's something that's not solid yet. Uh, in, what's supporting you is the chariot. Okay, this is about you moving forward, taking control, uh, heading to positive times. Even though the road is busy out there, or the road is busy, sorry, that uh, the path might be like bumpy. Okay, this is what I meant to say. Um, you're gonna have the willpower and the strength to move forward. External influences. You have the devil. This is Saturn. Maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn, but I see that this is Saturn in Capricorn. Okay, this is about attachments, addictions. Um, it's about fears, about difficult times. A lot of you are trying to break through from this situation here. Hopes and fears, you got the three of pentacles reverse, something that is not strong or solid. In the outcome, you got the seven of pentacles with the ten of cups being at crossroads here. Okay, this is about you looking back, looking back in the looking back till now and see how far you've come, maybe. Um, in money, in a project, in a business, in a relationship, and the Ten of Cups energy, two people coming in together here. There is a relationship here. And overall energy, you got the Three of Wands. So there's faith renewed, hope or faith renewed, maybe in three days from now, Leo, three weeks from now, three months from now. Uh, it's like your faith or hope got renewed on a situation here, and you're waiting for this situation to come to you. For others of you, uh, there is a waiting period. Okay, so now uh, let's check here. Um, let's start clarifying the cards. Let's clarify the nine of swords of what's crossing you at this moment.
So let's look at the Nine of Swords together. Nine of Swords. Let's look at the Nine of Swords together. You got the Elephant. This could be also a marriage that's going to be coming towards you. Some type of commitment. This could be about your marriage. Some of you have been putting a lot of energy into that. You're worried. It could be for others of you. This is about learned uh, lessons and uh, hitting a new paradigm in your life as well with the Nine of Swords. You're worried. And worry is not a good thing because when you worry, you're just amplifying more of that worry. And that's out of fear. It's not out of love, right? Then you got the Seven of Swords reversed. And you got the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Well, what I see here is that there's no more. The thing is, I see here with where if this has to do with a job or this is your energy, Taurus, Virgo. This could be also your energy that you're very successful, Leo. Um, you're very grounded, very reliable, also home-based. There could be a marriage here. And there's uh, with the Seven of Swords reverse, it's showing me that you don't need to worry because there's no more secrets. I don't see anything being withheld from you, but I do think it's your thoughts and your thought and your thought processes, your patterns in thinking negative that something is here, okay, or something that is because of your you're worried and you have a lot of fear here. Uh, like I said, uh, there's marriage here, there's commitment, okay? And it could also be that you have your own business as well. And you're doing very well because you're working, you're writing, you're doing a lot of energy work here. You're also doing a lot of work uh, or whatever it is, you're doing a lot of research on, okay? So let's look at uh, the Ace of uh, Wands and what Spirit wants you to know. What is this Ace of Wands about? You got the Knight of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, okay, let me look at the other cards that came in. So there's going to be an unexpected message coming in that's going to bring a lot of a passion towards you. Something is going to ignite. It's going to be a truthful and passionate message whether this is love, whatever situation you're in, okay? Uh, something is coming into balance for you, Leo, okay? Whether it's work, relationships, whatever it is, it's whatever your energy you're putting in, you're going to be receiving and things will be in balance. Uh, I do see here, though, that, um, that whatever this message is coming in for you, Leo, whatever message, whether it, that comes in towards you, I feel that it's going to be a lot of fears around that. You got the moon card, Neptune energy, a lot of illusions, uh, deception, uh, not seeing something for what it really is, insecurities. Uh, like I said, uh, there are a lot of fears here. But the blue moon that's coming up on October 31st, October 31st, the blue moon in Taurus, uh, I feel that this is going to help you because you, so there is going to be some type of releasing and some type of truth that will be told to you. And this is a, a situation that uh, there was a lot of uh, drama or fighting around, okay? And uh, it's someone that uh, walked away from you or you walked away from them, okay? Um, someone that gave up here. But there is a message coming in again for you. But I feel that the message, this it's going to be a bit more, the message that's coming in, you're going to probably fee feel fearful about it why because of this nine of swords energy that you keep worrying about something going wrong and there is fear there's a lot of fear here and uh and there's uh but i do believe that if there's drama and fighting i think it's going to subside okay and there's also the thinking or the thought of okay am i going to walk away or am i going to stay okay so now let's look at this uh, ten of uh, this ten of uh, swords in the recent past You got the Five of Swords upright, uh, reversed. In the past, there was lies, there probably was cheating. Uh, there was some type of judgment that went through on this. Something got judged here, or you got judged here, or Leo, you judged someone else. This is about someone standing up in their power, standing up for their power, standing up for their beliefs that took place here. It was an ending of a cycle that was very, very difficult. Okay, and I do see that maybe uh, an apology 
there was some type of apology in the past and there is a delay in the past of something coming back together here with Jupiter in retrograde. Oh, sorry. That's it. I didn't mean to say Jupiter in retrograde. The Wheel of Fortune that is re reversed. Well, something in retrograde for sure. Okay. So there was, there's like, um, there's a delay here. And this is definitely someone from your past with the Six of Cups energy. Uh, like I see, there is some type of apology coming towards you or it has already been there. Okay, but it's going to take time before it could get to where you want it to be. Now, let's look at this Knight of uh, Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I got the Five of Cups reversed, the Ten of Swords reversed. I feel that if you're dealing with another person here, a life partner or a twin flame or just a, a soulmate energy, I feel that uh, they also have been healing themselves as well. Ace of Wands again twice. There's a lot of passion between this. Whether if this is love or work, there's a lot, a lot of passion here. It's in every area of your life. Okay, the Ten of Swords reverse talks about something that is being removed from you. The the thoughts, the fears, whatever that life experience you went through, and the Five of Cups reverse for me just suggests that there is some type of closure, apology, or there is some type of reconciliation for some of you. It will not be for all of you, but you'll know who that you are you, you know you know if the reconciliation is for you it won't be for everybody now let's look at the four cups of the immediate future Leo energy where's the four cups here you got the world nice you got the King of Pentacles. Okay, so you got the King and Queen of Pentacles here. Now, I like that. Okay, and what else? There's an offer here, whether it's business or a partnership here. A life partner. Could be a family member. Whatever it is, you'll know. Okay, so the King and the Queen together here. One more card. No? No more cards? Yeah, one more card. There we go. And the Nine of Cups reverse. Yeah. Whatever offer that's coming in. There's an offer coming in for you pretty soon here. Okay. And this will be your wishes that are going to come true. It's a wish come true. Like it's wish, uh, your wish, uh, your wishes will be fulfilled. You're coming full circle, completion, the world. Something is coming in full circle. Okay. And it's a pause. Again, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or this is you and your power or your partner. Look at this, the king and the queen of pentacles. Okay. Very v victorious, grounded. You know, family-oriented, uh, diplomat here, um, um, you know, uh, security. It's all here. Now, let's look at the chariot here. Why is the chariot here in the seventh position? You got the Nine of Pentacles. So you've been working on yourself. Uh, Leo here, it shows. You've been working on yourself. Uh, you're also very independent here. A lot of you are trying to reach the Ten of Pentacles, Six of Swords energy here. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So whatever that took place in the past, maybe in the past, there was a lot of confusion with the Seven of Cups energy and the Ten of Wands, but both of them came reversed. So it shows to me that you're focused on yourself or you're focused on this project. Whatever it is, there was some type of unexpected change that you did not foresee with the tower. And I see that you're working on yourselves, okay? You're working on yourself and uh, it's, you're, put, you're very independent and you're going to take control of the situation and move forward here. And I do see that because with the Six of Swords, it's showing me that you're going through a trans transformation, a transition from a place that was very difficult, closed doors, things weren't happening to a better place. Some of you are going to be relocating or moving. And I do see that some of you are going to be moving in the month of June, July of 2021. Okay. Now let's look at um, the external influences here. You have, you have Capricorn energy, devil. You're trying to break free from uh, these situations or whatever it is here. Uh, this is Saturn making you do something over again. This is exactly what they told me. You got the Seven of Wands energy, which is a good card. You got the Knight of Cups.
and you got the knight again, the knight of pentacles twice, okay? So there is someone coming towards you. It could be around maybe the month of December, maybe right before the holidays. They're thinking, they're writing, they're doing a lot of self-reflection is what I'm feeling, whether this is you or them, okay? But they're coming in very slowly. <coughs> they're coming in also, uh, you know, with the knight of cups and the knight of pentacles here. Uh, wanting to share love, wanting to experience love with you, romancing you. And they have been filling, filling their cup, okay? And whatever the situation is, you are going to overcome it with the Seven of Wands, if you haven't already. Now, let's look at the Three of Pentacles reversed here, in the hopes and fears. You're fearing that something is not stable here, whether it's money, business, or a relationship, whatever it is for you. But let's, let's see what's going on here. You got, you got the Ten of Pentacles upright. The hangman reversed. The chariot reversed. And the magician reversed. Okay, so some of you, what you're doing here is, some of you, okay, there is a relationship here or a business or some, some family situation that rocked the boat with the three of pentacles reversed. This is your, your fear that this is done. Whether this is a marriage or a life partner or someone that you were living with or if this has to do with your business. But with the Ten of Cups energy, you got it twice, the Ten of Cups. The outcome in the hopes and fear. You got it. There is a relationship here. And uh, there is a, a soulmate relationship or whatever. This is a relationship here for you. Okay. Um, I believe that the, the person you're dealing with, or if this is not you, Leo is that at this time, at this particular time right now, okay, a lot of you are not taking action, okay, uh, are moving forward. There is some type of surrendering that you have to do. There was a sacrifice you had to do, and uh, you, you took yourself out of a loop of the situation, and now you have to surrender to it for some of you that were forced into something. Uh, and you're not really at this time manifesting anything, but you're putting a lot of energy into something. A lot here, I see. And there's a new paradigm shift that's going to take place for you because of this, okay? Uh, now, let's look at the Ten of Cups in the outcome. You got Justice. That's nice. Something is coming into balance here for you. Libra energy it doesn't have to be a Libra, but I do have Libra. This talks about uh, saying the truth and nothing but the truth. Okay, there's going to be truth and someone standing in their integrity and everyone that's involved will be treated fairly. Okay, from the universe. You got the hermit energy. So I do have Virgo also here. Virgo, Libra. And I have Capricorn and Cancer. And the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so a lot of you, or this is this not you, Libra. There's someone that's holding back from expressing how they truly feel. Maybe you're dealing with someone that's going within, following their own path. Someone is taking time out from family and friends. Someone that is refocusing, reassessing, re-everything. Okay, it's about really like, you know, uh, being the hermit mode. Okay, so someone's holding back because they're in this type of mode. They don't feel like sharing at this time. But like they're showing me something is coming into balance. The truth is going to be told here. Okay, and let's look at the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Someone's reevaluating this Two of Cups energy that something took place between two people. There's someone that's reevaluating this. Yeah, because someone's not seeing things clearly, okay? Uh, with the King of Swords reversed, uh, someone is not seeing things clearly. So they're reevaluating the situation, whether it's you or them. There's some type of reevaluation, someone that's not speaking much, maybe someone that's angry, okay? But what I do see is that whenever this thing comes into balance, there's the King of Cups energy here, okay? Someone being emotionally available with the King of Cups. This could be you, Leo, in energy or them, now, let's look at this Three of Wands in overall energy. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. You've got the Fool, Reversed, and the Eight of Wands. So, I do see communication here with some of you, okay? You are communicating, but the Leap of Faith... Or starting a, 
starting anew is not taking place at this time. Okay, but there is some type of gift. There is something that is solid, whether there's something solid. This could be money, an opportunity, uh, some type of gift, okay? And there's a lot of messages going back and forth. And I do see that there's some type of beginning of stability for some of you here. Okay, you're waiting. Some of you are waiting for someone to come back here, Leo, okay? But you're not taking that first step because you haven't taken control of it because it's still like, you know, the person has to say, go, let's go, and then you go, right? So uh, you're not taking that... Uh, leap of faith to move forward you're just waiting for the right time which is divine timing okay yes there you go leo some of you are feeling stuck in your thoughts okay feeling stuck in a, in a situation it's your thought patterns okay your thought patterns that are keeping you feeling stuck okay or you're just stuck in a situation that you don't want to be stuck in right but you have no choice because you have to wait for the other person to contact you or tell you okay let's do it or whatever it is there's i feel there's someone that has to tell you okay let's do it okay and here you're coming to your own reading. There's a lot of healing that's taking place at this moment. Um, and uh, between both of you. And I see here, it's about having the strength, having the courage to move forward. It's very beautiful. And underneath the deck, I got Page of Wands. And my Page of Wands is Divine Timing. So there is something coming in, in Divine Timing. Divine Timing means it's not the time that we're here on Earth, okay? It's Divine Timing is the timing that they, <laughs> the Spirit decides when that this is going to happen. And it's about seeing all the signs coming in. And previously, if the doors were closed, doors will be opening. Now, I'm just going to take out a few cards underneath the deck here just to see what else is going on here. See, I do see there's a lot of worry about a situation here uh, where there was once a lot of love, okay? But I see that it's still very solid, but maybe it's your thoughts that is causing that. There was a heartbreak, okay? Someone really suffered a heartbreak here, uh, feeling left out uh, of a situation, but overcame that. And uh, there was a death and rebirth and a resurrection. I feel that you're both thinking of each other. There's a, or they're thinking about you. You're thinking about them. Uh, or they're watching you on social media. Or there's communication on social media here. Okay. It's about letting go of the control of the outcome. And it's about setting new rules and boundaries. Someone is doing that with you. But I do see some type of closure or reconciliation. And uh, it's like uh, something that you've been wishing for so long to happen for you, Leo, is going to take place, okay? It's like your your faith is going to be restored, okay? And it's about blessings and dreams coming true. And it's whatever that you've been putting a lot of energy in, okay? Maybe both of you are feeling angry at this time about a situation. It could be because there's some type of balancing that needs to take place. Some, you know, there's a balancing, also balancing within your light and shadow. I also see that for some of you. And please trust your intuition, okay? Because I do see, like, what I see is some type of proposal. Maybe moving in together right away. But there's an ending and a new beginning that's taking place. So I hope that you enjoyed your reading. Oh, wait a second. Before I finish that reading, let me give you a crystal card. Let me see what kind of crystal that you will need for this week. This is back from popular demand. Okay, for Leo. Leo from November 2nd to the 8th. One, okay, two cards came up. Let's see. You got Moonstone, Live Your Purpose, Moonstone. And you got Garnet. It says, Ignite Your Passion. So, Moonstone, Live Your Purpose, Garnet, Ignite Your Passion. These are the crystals that you will need and for as long as you need them. So, Leo, I hope that you enjoyed the reading. Don't forget to like, know that I have your back and that I love you. And please take care and I'll see you next week. Bye.